a week in my life as an art major in LA and we are doing everything from painting, yapping, showing some work on the side of a house, and more. So if that interests you babe, keep watching! Welcome to yet another studio vlog. I woke up today pretty early. I got like six hours of sleep which is pretty good. Woke up, ate some breakfast, worked out, had a little protein bar. Y'all, obviously they did not sponsor this damn video, but I'm just gonna put y'all on. These Think Bars actually changed my life. They're 20 grams of protein, zero sugar, zero artificial sweeteners, and they're gluten-free. Um, oh my god, they have milk? It's whey protein? Um, oh. Why did I think they were pea protein? Um, I should not have read the ingredients. I should not have read the ingredients. Why did I do that to myself? I just eat it right after my workouts. It's a good fun vibe. Gets protein right in your system. Allegedly, you have to eat like as much protein as you can 30 minutes after a workout if you want to build muscle mass. Now, am I trying to personally build muscle mass? Possibly. Maybe. I always do what the girls on TikTok tell me to do and I do it. Now I'm doing a little homework assignment for my LGBTQ plus revolution class. We're currently going through the AIDS crisis which happened in like the 1980s and throughout basically like the 90s and onward. And this particular article talks about like the dodgy reporting that the New York Times did throughout that kind of period of history because it was obviously targeting a marginalized, highly polarized, politicized group of people being queer people and so reading about that has been really interesting especially with a virus that just recently happened that everyone has seemed to forgot ten about monkeypox the media attention that monkeypox got paralleled a bit of the homophobia that the hiv aids crisis got and so it's just interesting to read all about this and to see how i personally experienced like the monkeypox kind of epidemic that happened like a year ago two years ago I might treat myself to a little matcha before class and then I'm gonna go home, get some art to install at this little thing I'm doing tonight called Third Space. Then I'm gonna go to my friend Jaina's to maybe do a little wine night. Mm -mm -mm. It is Thursday and tomorrow is practically the weekend for me. In college, a lot of people don't have Friday classes, so people just start partying on Thursdays. Not that I'm going to a party, but I'm doing something. Anyways, I'm gonna see y'all later. Oh my god, my room looks so dirty in this mirror. <gasps> no. Whatever. Y'all, I really wanted to get matcha this morning, but I don't think it's gonna happen because I'm pretty late to class. It really does be like that sometimes. Um, so I'm gonna get my little ass to class and then I'm gonna maybe get matcha after. I might like actually buy matcha at a cafe, um, but it's hard because I can make better matcha at fucking home with a Trader Joe's matcha. So I should just probably go to Trader Joe's and buy it, but there's something about, this is really bad, like say the turtles and stuff, but like there's something about having a latte in a plastic cup with those damn ice cubes. I can't explain it. Sue me. Sue me for liking that more. I've been working on this painting for about a week and a half, and I wanted to start with some glaze layers on the arms. Glazing layers are when you have linseed oil and maybe some gamsol in your oil paint, and when you're able to put it over a layer, you have this like shimmer effect where there's more depth. So if you're imagining a painting in different layers, you have your base layer, and then if you add a glazing layer on top, there's a translucency that adds some color, but also allows the back layers to seep through. So it's just a nice little glow effect that I like to do for this cartoon character. What I'm most interested in is playing with contrast Predictions. So when I do add more depth to the cartoon character by adding more layers, it kind of flips the script a bit because you imagine a cartoon character to be very flat, very opaque, also very color droppy and solid. But here, I'm not doing any of that. I'm being different, babe. It's really different. And you'll also notice the pencil markings slash oil paint sticks that I use to outline the cartoon character aren't perfect. I'm not interested in that perfection. I think the perfection in the lines gives me another layer to play with contradiction-wise. So you'll see that I have some of the lines overlapping the right leg on the figure, but none of the blue is actually going into the figure. So I'm able to have these two-dimensional lines cross over and play their own rules within this world, whereas the shadows or even the filling of the character play by different rules. None of this really makes sense. After that, I got my last painting called Earn Your Stripes and I wanted to trim the sides a bit to get it ready to show at the side of a house, the side of a house. So I trimmed that and she was good.
Okay, Luke, what are you working on? <laughs> uh, I'm trying to host my laundry comms on AWS because... What's happening? Say hi to a vlog. Hey. <laughs> How's your tea? It's good, you want some? Oh, no thanks. But Why? you're working on AWS. Why, you hit it? You hit my tea? Oh. You're working on A... It, it, Amazon Web Services? Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like it's... That's okay. Yeah, I don't think the server is on. That's the thing. You'll figure it out, Luke. I believe in you. Yeah. <laughs> so right now I'm heading to my car so I can drive over to install at this little location for tonight. We'll see how it goes, babe. I have no f clue. But I have this painting and... Oh my god. I'm not a breath, babe. I have this painting and another painting in my car that I'm gonna install with like gaffer's tape because I don't wanna like fuck their walls with some nails. So we shall see. Goodbye. Okay. Let's get this shit started. Whenever my car is beeping, I immediately feel like shit's hitting the fan, but babe, nothing hit the fan. Shit's just beeping. Luckily, the place that I'm going to is literally down the street. I just need to bring my car because the canvases I have are pretty big. Um, they're beefy. The place is called the Peach House because allegedly there's... Aww. Aww, there's an old couple. Oh my god. He's literally pushing her across the street because she's in a wheelchair. Now, I am assuming both their genders. I am. I really am. But let me just pull it back real quick. Maybe they're not. Maybe... What street am I on? Um, I'm gonna assume that I'm going on this street now. Okay, I actually missed it. The one thing about driving in residential areas, particularly those within college campuses, babe, people are just walking and jaywalking all the time, and I understand, because babes, I do that too when I'm on my damn bike. Actually, yesterday I literally, knock on wood, knock on literally everything, but I almost got hit the other day. Totally my fault. Definitely my fault. 1,100% my fault. Okay, so Peach House. Um, I'm assuming that Peach House is the one that's colored peach. What is, what, it, what constitutes peach? Hold on. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna turn it on and then you can edit it later. Yeah, are you recording? Yes, bro. <laughs> What's up? Constantine, help me, help me out there. Okay. Just tear this shit down. Okay, ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, word. That was so violent. That was really violent. Oh, thank you. I like okay. this guy's butt cheeks. <laughs> Wait, do you have my butt cheeks? Really? Yeah. Oh, you're right. You're totally. I do have a few. That's crazy. That's crazy. I haven't had, but it's like, it's like a lot of, I'm like caffeine sensitive. Oh, it is a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, like, maybe if any, if anyone wants, I'll just, like, save it for, like, later. No, because it's a day. They're gonna be days when you need it. True. Like, if you... Oh, it's unopened. Save it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. Wait, can you describe your fit? This is a shirt that is my friend. I was supposed to give it back to him yesterday and I was carrying it around all day. And then I, and I forgot. And these Wait, are my mom's, yeah, these are my mom's linen pants. He gave them to me this summer. So good. And I'm wearing my underwear inside out because I had, I wore it yesterday. And these are my sneakers. This is the star of the outfit. I'm obsessed I thrifted them for $10. Oh, and coach. then it took me a year to wa finally wash them and wear them because I wasn't gonna wear them before I washed them, but they're falling apart. But then, you know, I got the, I got the laces. So sick. And then these are my bows. I love it. I want to be you so bad. I want to be you. <laughs> okay. Hey. Hi. Hi. I love that. What am I supposed to say? Um. Okay. If I had five buttons on my soundboard in my head, what sounds would it be? Like, what are like my phrases that I soundboard on? Um, <laughs> okay. 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 
work. Work. Sick. Sick. Did you say that? Oh, oh, oh I, don't know. Know. I, I love that. Oh. I love that. And shut the fuck up. We need to say that more. Oh, shut the fuck up. STFU. 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 GTFO. Good fo. Good fo. Good Good fo. Do you have a phone charger? Yes. You. I'm currently in the painting studio. Nothing is new. I'm always trapped in this damn little dungeon that I love so much. Thank God, y'all, it's spring break so I can get a bit of alone time in the studio. Y'all know me. I love my alone time. When I can just paint, vibe, listen to Ariana Grande's new album on my phone out loud and then paint my heart away. I have been stuck on this damn painting for like a week now. I don't like spending more than like a week and a half on a painting because personally, girl, who has time for that? Who literally actually has time for that? That's probably why I don't like any of my paintings, but it's not the point. I realized that I actually literally hate representational bodies. Even though this isn't like that good, but like proving I can paint by doing representational bodies, um, instead of just letting my ideas flow through this cartoon or even more abstract form. Because I feel like when I'm in like an art school context, I have to like prove myself and doing a representational body is a way of doing that when in reality, maybe that's not what I want to do. But because I'm so insecure about thinking how other people perceive me to be as a painter or how skilled or technically good I am at painting, I feel the need to put in this form of body into the painting. Now, I'm not necessarily sure if it's all insecurity. I think that I am doing it for a reason. Like, obviously, there's supposed to be a contrast between the cartoon body and my body, and this, like, two-dimensional line cutting through the leg. It's supposed to interact with one another. I just overthink everything um, when I should just paint. I get so in my head whenever I'm doing this medium specifically because there's so much history behind it, and I've taken the most classes in painting and got the most feedback on my paintings from just professors and peers, which is why I have so many like voices in my damn brain whenever I paint, so I overthink things. But other disciplines like performance, I just do what I want to do, and I love what I do there, and it's because I haven't learned in like an academic setting what to do. So I'm trying to deconstruct all that in my little brain circle, and once I'm done with this painting, I'm gonna go ham on like some abstract shit, like, don't even try to clock me for it, I'm just gonna do me. I'm trying to think of any other updates. I try these like Medicube, like, tea tree oil patches, like toner pads, I think they're called. And girl, that shit broke me out so bad. It broke me out so bad. It was either that or like the bottle of wine I drank yesterday. I don't really know. But I'm going through it. My skin's going through it. Every other video, I always talk about my skin. I'm just so self-conscious about my skin. But I, I just need to get over myself. Truly, honestly, actually. Anyways, it's spring break coming up. I need to sleep. I'm going to a USC MFA student's show tonight. Um, his name is Elias. And Jung, who runs Tetrapod, which is just a fun little gallery in LA. So I want to see both of their works, see what's up, see what the vibe is, and then go home, possibly paint more because I really want to finish this fucking painting. And then after that, babes, I can post it tomorrow. Well, I have Art Talk Collective stuff tomorrow. Um, oh my god, my brain is actually mush. My cognitive abilities, babe, crazy low right now because. Again, I drank a bottle of wine yesterday, like a bottle and a half, I think, which was so god awful. I don't like being wine drunk because you have to drink a lot in order to like feel something. And girl, at that point, you just have to pee the whole night. So I had to pee like the whole night. It was a nice event. There was like a nice dinner involved. And there's another guest speaker who is like the art director of Beats by Dre or something like that. For someone like me, whenever there's another person involved who may have like a certain level of social capital, I overcompensate by like not wanting to be like as professional by being even more like myself or even more flamboyant personality wise like not actually i feel like i'm a more of a social chameleon and like react to people's energies but oh my god i stood up in front of everyone and i wasn't even like that tipsy at this point stood up in front of everyone including this person who's like top of like their game or whatever and the person organizing it asked me like oh it's like and i kid you not i said mm, I just want to be a vibe. I just want to be a vibration, babe. And I also just want to be a baddie. Because to me, being a baddie is just staying in your lane, doing what you got to do, not looking left and right, and then achieving your goals with the means you have. And I just want to be a baddie. And I said it to someone also who works at this like huge gallery too. But it's true. It's literally true. Like, I'm not going to lie and be like, I want to do this, this, and this, and this, and that. I'm not going to be the person to want to be super professional in a suit and tie at a fun gallery. Like, that can be fun for a while, but that's not my dream. My dream is to be a baddie. And so that's what I told them. 
But then I realized after the fact that maybe that's not a great answer or a great impression that I gave for everyone. People were laughing, but I couldn't tell if they were laughing at me or with me. Whatever. I'm just like not trying to take myself too seriously. But maybe I should. I've been thinking about that a lot lately. Anyways, I'm gonna go home and maybe go on a run slash workout if there's still sunlight left because I hate running in the dark. And I'll see y'all later. Yay. I did it. What else do I say? Literally, what else do I say? I did the run. I just came back from the gallery show. It was fun. It was fresh. I saw some of Jung's work. It was so good in person. It was really trippy. I loved one of these like blue paintings that I didn't take a picture of actually, but it was stunning. It was stunning in person. So I saw some of Elias's work. Oh, oh I'm so tired. I saw some of Elias's work. And now I'm thinking I need a self-care night. So I'm gonna go to Ralph's, walk my little ass over there, get some sushi if they have some left. I only get the tuna rolls. Um, and if not, I'll just like buy like chips or something. I don't know. Gonna come home, take a hot ass warm shower, do a little face mask, listen to Suki Waterhouse, the new Ariana Grande album, go to bed early, then I'll be refreshed and rejuvenized to literally paint early tomorrow morning to finish that shit up. Oh my god, I need to finish that damn painting. It's pissed me off. I'm gonna add a sunset, like a bar of yellow in the middle section because there needs to be like a bright part of the composition that needs to like cut it. Adding that little strip would like elevate the painting so much. Like babes, like this is just what I'm thinking. These are my thoughts that I'm thinking. I can't sleep and I can't think if my paintings look like shit. Um, so we need to fix her up ASAP. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow morning because tonight we're having a good time. I'm gonna walk on over now. Goodbye. My skin is not happy with me. She is like kicking, screaming. Look at this like ginormous volcano I have on the side of my face, babe. It's kind of actually literally crazy. Luckily though, my sister from Korea, well, she's from America, but she got this from Korea, a tea tree medical mask. And apparently it's supposed to be calming. I need calming. I could really use some calming right now. Shit. She smells like tea tree oil. She really does. Okay, so maybe this is legit. Whenever I undo these sheet masks, I swear to God, I always unfold it improperly and then end up ripping it. So let me try and not do that for this one. Let me just kind of zhuzh it out. I feel like everyone deals with skin tr troubles. Okay. I've never had a face mask that actually fit me this well. Mm. Okay, now we wait. My face is wet because I'm letting the face mask sit in a bit, but babes, I don't think I made it evident or clear enough for y'all how ginormous this like, babes, it's crazy. It's actually crazy. In person, it's like literally a lump. A lump. Um, actually that reminds me, when I was like in middle school, through high school, to even now, People have always compared me to Lumpy Space Princess and they think that I'm Lumpy Space Princess. Which, first of all, is that a read? I have no idea. Second of all, I personally love that. Lumpy Space Princess was literally a baddie and just... She was a baddie. She was a baddie. Oh my god. So what a compliment. Mmm. Well, that one had wasabi on it. What the fuck? I hate wasabi. The next day I had a meeting with Art Talk Collective. Here we have Armani and Camilla icons for real. We were plotting some open calls that would happen on Art Talk Collective next week, which are super fun and super fresh. So we'll get started on that and you'll see it later. Then I went to the painting studio to add some final textures like in the PP and that yellow bar I was talking about earlier. Um, Y'all, this yellow bar took so long for no reason. And I try to be so precise with it even though I was using my fingers. I thought it looked okay at first. I really did. I thought the orange would like help the composition more, but it did not look good at all. It was such an interruption. And so I ended up scraping all of it off, repainting the background color. And this was like the final painting that I got. Let me know what y'all think. I kind of like her, but 
who knows? I feel like I never know what a painting looks like until I see it a month after I stop looking at it. So we'll find out in a month. Right now I'm off to see my friend's show. Their name is Jordan. Really awesome figurative paintings graduated from LCAD. Super surrealist about like woman empowerment, etc. And after that, some people I met through just like mutual friends is having a show at Jaguar House, I believe it's called. So I'm gonna hit there right after. And then I'm super excited because my friend Courtney Poe, who's just an absolute badass, is throwing another gas gallery at Subcontext Space with a bunch of artists who I love and adore. I know like four or five of the artists, so I'm super excited for that. And then after all of that, I might end up going to WeHo, which is like West Hollywood for anyone who isn't from the LA area. West Hollywood is notorious for being like a gay club scene. It's super fun, super poppy. I've only gone maybe like twice. My friends go like there every other weekend. I know people that go there every weekend. It's just like a hot spot, I guess, for just queer parties, which is great. But also, like, not gonna lie, I've never felt comfortable there because it's a bunch of people who are very much the- let me take these off, actually. Um, are very much like the beauty standard. They're these like jock-ish white men. Of course you get like your drag queens and femmes and stuff and like that's really awesome. I love seeing those types of people. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a completely welcoming space for those of us who like have certain type of like insecurities with how we look like especially i literally told my friends i was like guys recently i've been struggling like on this youtube channel to just find and make content that i think y'all would want to see i have been intentionally not doing any hard-hitting title like buzzwordy kind of videos because i just want to like connect with y'all and like actually talk to y'all and show my personality um but maybe i'll just like sprinkle in some sketchbook tours some like figure drawing tutorials some other kind of videos if y'all have any ideas comment down below but yeah i realized that i actually should think about actually trying to grow this channel instead of just talking to like you know the couple thousand people that still watch the videos who knows i'm just trying to vibe just trying to hang out i hope y'all like these kind of like fun like drive with me videos when i was a kid i would always watch drive with me's by sarah baska and drive with me's like became a really popular youtube video so like let's bring that shit back babe people have mukbangs in their car chapetas Oh my god, that's another thing. Tangent. Love Trapetas. I think she's literally the performance artist of our generation. I think she's so amazing. She's just my guilty pleasure. Like, I'm sorry, sue me. And like the 5 million other people, 10 million people that like follow Trapetas online. Like, sorry. Sorry. We all have our guilty pleasures. Whatever. If anything, hot take, I think she's more real and more respectable because she just lays it all out there and is way better, in my opinion, than these other girlies who are pretending they're better than and have like a moral superiority complex, self-righteous attitude that's complete bullshit and hiding behind this like gilded kind of self-image that they've constructed online with people supporting them thinking that they're the best human being ever when really they're actually like awful people behind the scenes. Like at least Trisha Paytas is showing us all of that. That's what I'm saying. Anyways. Um, yeah, let's bring Drive With Me videos back. Let's just have a fun, boppy time. I just feel so much pressure doing everything and I need to like chill the fuck out. Like, even like me going to WeHo and like not wanting to go because I don't think I look that good. Realistically, no one's gonna be fucking looking at me. Like, I'm just gonna be with my friends in a comfortable setting where I can dance, have fun, and drink. And that's that. Like, maybe I'll flirt with a six-year-old, maybe not, but like, who knows, you know? Okay, I'm gonna go to the gallery now and I'll see y'all later. This is my friend Jordan. She absolutely ate and devoured and tore up this damn painting. It was so good. I was obsessed with it. And afterwards, like I said, I saw my other friend's show. There was a fun little back room with this really nice painting that I loved and this little creature sculpture. Went to Gasp Gallery for Courtney Poe, saw all my little friends. Their paintings were absolutely stunning. Stunning, babe. And I did, in fact, go to WeHo. I did. This is my friend Angela and I. We grabbed pizza while my other friends, Jaina and Sarvani, were looking for Sarvani's wallet. I think someone literally stole it, which is absolutely crazy. This is why we don't go to WeHo. Anyways, the pizza was really good, and that's the vlog.